What's up guys, Morris here from Volkify.com and today we are talking about the top 5 personal growth hacks that are out there. All 5 of those are hacks that don't take a lot of time or energy to implement so you can actually start using them today and start seeing results today. Let's get started. So the very first personal development hack I have for you is to set a goal and then tell everyone about it. It is very easy to set an ambitious goal but then actually very hard to follow through with it. So by telling other people about it you create that pressure for yourself to follow through. All these other people that you told your great plan to are gonna hold you accountable. They are gonna come up to you after two weeks, after two months and they're gonna be like hey you said you're gonna do this, where is the result? We want to see what you actually have been doing. And this is crucial. You need this accountability. You need to feel like you have put your plans out into the world, out into the universe and now you actually have to deliver. So if you have this great plan, make sure that you don't only keep it to yourself. We as humans are so damn good at lying to ourselves. We find so many excuses if we don't perform. And if we don't have anyone calling us out on our bullshit, it is very easy to just give up on our goal completely. So make sure that you have clear goals, but even more importantly, make sure that you share those goals with as many people as possible. And this brings us straight to hack number two. Surround yourself with people who are better than you. If you are at all into personal development, you probably heard this quote before. We are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. Well, and that means that if you want to better yourself, if you want to improve yourself, you need to find people who are already doing better than you do. This hack should actually be very obvious to everyone and it is so easy to implement. You just look at your friends, at your family, you see who is doing better than you in certain areas of their lives and you simply learn from them. But so many people are afraid to admit that they need help. They are simply too afraid to show others that they are not perfect. So instead of seeking out people who are doing better than them, they instead seek out people who are doing worse than them so they can feel better about themselves. This then leads to a downward spiral where people actually decrease the size of their comfort zone, they stop improving and they actually end up being worse than they were before. So if you want to improve at anything, it is absolutely crucial that you surround yourself with the right people. But then again, it is not enough to only surround yourself with these people, you actually have to profit from their knowledge. And you can do this best by applying our personal development hack number three, which is getting negative feedback. Just like we learn a lot more from failures than from successes, we also learn a lot more from negative feedback than from positive feedback. But how often do we actually get negative constructive feedback? The people we usually ask for feedback are our friends, our family, our partner and maybe our colleagues. So all of these people usually have an interest in not upsetting us. They like us and that's why they don't want to piss us off. That means that if we ask those people for feedback, they usually say something nice, we are happy, everybody's happy, but you certainly didn't improve. So what I recommend doing is that you pick a couple of those people, the ones that you really trust and you ask them, what is it that I could improve on? What should I do differently? Where do I fuck up? And where are my blind spots? Now probably what they are gonna tell you is gonna sting a little bit. But if you actually take the time to listen to them and implement the changes that they suggest, you are gonna improve much faster than you ever would have if you only got the positive feedback. And after all, it should be way easier for you to take criticism from people who dearly love you and care about you. Personal development hack number four is stop blaming and complaining. 
There are so many people out there who just love to find excuses for their own failures. Whenever something doesn't go according to plan, it is because they didn't have enough time, they didn't have enough energy, their partners fucked up, the economy is bad, they blame the government, they blame their neighbor. There is always a reason why they didn't deliver. And look, I get it. Sometimes there are actually external circumstances that we can't control. But does it make any difference? Does it really help us to list all these external circumstances? Or don't we just do better if we focus on ourselves, give it its best and then try to make it work somehow anyways? I personally try to cultivate the mindset of everything is my fault. And that might not even be true, but it gives me the feeling that also everything is in my control. And in the end, it is up to you to deliver anyway. Nobody's gonna do it for you. So stop the whining, stop playing the blame game and just go out and hustle. Make it happen, nobody cares how, nobody cares about all the obstacles that you need to overcome. But if you just focus on yourself and don't waste any energy of anything that is happening around you, you will find a way to make it work. And lastly, personal development hack number five is taking the time to reflect. We live at times where it is normal to just always perform and always consume. We try to do as much as possible and actually feel like we have less time than ever. But guess what? In order to learn from our mistakes, implement changes and keep improving, we sometimes have to take a step back. We have to have that outside perspective sometimes. And we only get that if we take the time to reflect thoroughly. So make sure that you take that time, even if it means that you have to schedule it in actively into your daily routine. And it doesn't even have to be that you sit down and you actively write down what you did all week, but instead it could be while you're going for a run. It could be while you're training at the gym. It could be while you're meditating. All of these different activities can give you the time that you need to actually process what is happening to you and see it a little bit from a distance. If you want to take a more structured approach, there are also techniques like, for example, journaling. There are plenty of YouTube videos about that, but what you do essentially doesn't matter as long as you don't try to constantly do something, constantly consume something, constantly learn something. You can't only inhale. You also have to give yourself the time to exhale. I hope that these five personal development hacks were helpful to you and if they were, feel free to subscribe down below to our channel so you get more personal development videos just like this one in the future. Have fun implementing those hacks into your own life and let me know how it goes. Until then, talk to you next time.